A couple of days left before 2012. and Can't believe it. That might be a big year for folks getting married. That's very yes, true. Very I mean, true. We're talking venues, dresses, DJs, tuxedos, flowers, pictures, cakes, food, videos, and invitations. <gasps> Planning a wedding can be a full-time job for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. That's why there are wedding planners, you know. That's a good thing. <laughs> Each week, our favorite event planner, Melanie Murphy, from By Invitation Only, offers some tips, ideas, and things to think about as you try to plan for that big day. And this week, Melanie's talking about the one-stop shop for all the things needed in a wedding. It's the bridal show. Very That's fun. Right. That's right. It is this week's Tie the Knot tip. So this week on Tie the Knot Tips, we are going to talk about bridal shows. I'm sure there are some newly engaged couples out there, as well as those that are already in the planning process. But a bridal show can be an excellent tool for you during this process and help you get organized as you start down that path for planning your wedding. Bridal shows can be overwhelming, so we're going to talk to some Columbia area vendors, and they're going to give us some tips on how to navigate through these bridal shows so that you get the most out of them when you attend. My name is Angela Koska, and I'm bridal show producer. Well, a bridal show can be overwhelming with so many exhibitors and there's also a big crowd of people. So one of the first things you can do is really focus on the vendors that you do need to hire and only visit those vendors. If you get tied up looking at vendors that you've already hired, then you kind of get lost in the process and you don't have time to really focus on the things you still need. My name is Brant Holtine. I'm the catering manager and bridal specialist with the Columbia Marriott. Um, the most important thing anyone can do is to research the show, make sure that you take a look at all the vendors who'll be participating and narrow that down to the professional services that you still need to book for your special day and then make a list of questions for each vendor so that you can streamline the process as you arrive at each booth. Keep an open mind because you might see some fantastic ideas, inspiration can strike anywhere. However, in order to maintain your sanity and get the most out of the show, to have this pre-sorted and an agenda and objective set is going to be key to being successful. What you're doing on wedding show day is you're collecting information. You are looking at meet and greet. It's not a full-blown wedding consultation. Don't expect to get that much information from it. You want to get a feel. You want to see their work, what they've done. Can they do what we want them to do and keep moving? It's a, a process of learning and you need to weed through it and cull and find the right ones that are going to do what you can do. One thing you're going to go home with is a bag full of information. And so if you can make notes for yourself about who you visited, who you liked, something that'll remind you about that specific person. And then when you get home, you can follow up with them, shoot them an email, give them a call and get more information about what, what kind of services they offer. Great stuff. Awesome. The I've, wedding. I've been to a bridal show before sure. and it really is just some great information because you're always like, you know, especially if you're in a town and you haven't been mm -hmm. there for a long time and you go to a show and you know, you're thinking, who am I going to get to do my flowers? Right. Or, you know, it's all there. One stop shop, I they say. It. I love it. Of course, we'll have the segment for you up at uh, our YouTube page and on Facebook here in just a, a little bit. Yes. And Melanie Murphy has all the great stuff for you, tip by tip by tip, each week on Tie the Knot. Great tips, tips right. too. I love it.